Across Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific, this is the week's Adventist News in Focus. Hello, thanks for joining us. I'm Danielle Sinnott. Both New Zealanders and Australians have been shocked at the death of Warriana Wright, who fell from a Gold Coast hotel balcony in an incident police are treating as a murder investigation. The death of the 26-year-old New Zealand tourist has particularly affected the Porirua Adventist Church in Lower Hutt near Wellington, where Ms Wright's mother is actively involved. The pastor says the church is doing what it can to support family and friends. In a survey of Australia's most trusted brands, a church-owned company has again come up trumps. Sanitarium Wheat Bix has been voted the most trusted breakfast food and the ninth most trusted brand overall out of a field of hundreds of competitors. The Seventh-day Adventist Church has been a leader in the breakfast cereal industry ever since Adventist doctor John Harvey Kellogg invented the humble cornflake in 1891. Wheat Bix continues to be the most popular breakfast cereal in both Australia and New Zealand which hasn't stopped Sanitarium experimenting with the formula, they recently introduced a gluten-free variety. 46,000 people have attended one of the Adventist Church's biggest ever youth events at Oshkosh in Wisconsin, USA. The International Pathfinder Camporee attracted 10 to 15 year olds from across North America and around the world for a six day festival of outdoor activities, music, drama and spiritual inspiration. Maybe his God truly is a living God who protects him. There is room for hope. Hope is a dangerous thing. The theme of the Campari was forever faithful, with a focus on the life of the Old Testament prophet Daniel. See, God used Daniel to talk to the kings of his age. God used Daniel to talk to Nebuchadnezzar and Belshazzar and Darius. New babies are not known for their timing or patience, and Georgia Kate Hogan is no exception. She managed to time her birth for just when Sydney Adventist Hospital staff were moving the maternity ward into a brand new building. Baby Georgia has become a minor celebrity, the first baby born in the new 12-storey LW Clark Tower. Not that she seems to care. She wasn't too keen on the bathing, I have to say. She sort of, <laughs> it was quite a traumatic experience, the bath, but, um, but she's, she's lived to tell the tale. The building is lovely. You can have all the views in the world, but without the, without the great staff, um, you know, we'd really go anywhere. That if they had the staff that were here and transplanted them into another building, um, we'd be there as well. The new hospital facilities, including operating theatres and possibly intensive care, are coming online over the next few months. The new building will be officially opened in October. For more news and special features, check out the full half hour of Record in Focus. Dr Ben Carson is among a coalition of religious and other groups calling for increased military action in Iraq. Should Australia legalise marijuana for medical purposes, Lyle Shelton gives his perspective. I think we need to ease pain and suffering uh, through the proper medical processes, not through self-medication of a dangerous psychotic drug. And an Adventist pastor shares the gospel story hidden in ancient Chinese characters. Oh, breath and earth. Yes. So, so, and, and, yes. And so this in is, Genesis, yes. we, we have the story of, story that, of creation. It's all there on Hope Channel, the Australian Christian Channel, Digital 44 in Adelaide, and of course at our website, record.net.au. You can also read the latest edition of Record Magazine there, as well as exclusive online articles. Until next time, hugs and blessings, I'm Danielle Sinnott.